Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 373, Aesthetic Laser Transformations. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. So two or three weeks ago, we did uh, a health cast on your new uh, BioBalance Skin Aesthetic Mm -hmm. office that you've opened. You, you, you've had a parallel practice within your same facility for a long time because mm-hmm. part of what your philosophy is and what you've learned in doing the treatments that you do is that people who feel better want to look better and people who look better feel better. Mm-hmm. And so you combine helping people feel better by treating their physiological issues like loss of testosterone mm-hmm. or loss of estrogen or, or thyroid fix those issues, and then you offer some weight loss and exercise programs and some programs that are designed to make your hair look better and your skin look Mm -hmm. better, and the total package then looks better. Mm -hmm. And so now you've that portion of your business has grown to the point that you can actually have a separate facility. And so we spent some time talking about the different treatments that are available, especially with regard to fillers that are used. Mm -hmm. What we did not talk about were treatments that were available using just some modern sheer technology like like lasers. Mm -hmm. And there I have come to understand that there are different kinds of lasers that do different kinds of of skin treatments, like Mm -hmm. removal of a tattoo. A treatment mm-hmm. of a birthmark. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have like liver spots or brown, sp- you know, mm-hmm. s- spots on your face that you want to get rid of, hair removal. I mean, they're all different kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So you have all those different lasers mm-hmm. in in your office that can do those things. And I thought today we'd spend some time talking about them and about the the way that your facility approaches planning laser treatments. You mm-hmm. you have uh, certified estheticians who. We'll sit down with somebody and discuss with them, what are your goals? What are your needs? Mm-hmm. And these are the things that I would suggest. These are things that I see as an expert in my field that mm-hmm. you might benefit from. Then you decide whether or not you're interested in that. Mm-hmm. You will often ask me, well, what does that take and, and in terms of time, money, mm-hmm. discomfort, what have mm-hmm. you? And, and so then I give them whatever that answer would be. And we develop a treatment plan for you that can be done over... Three months, six months, two years. I mean, it doesn't have to all happen at once. Depending on your goals. On on your goals and your budget. And your budget. And and your tolerance for discomfort, whatever that might be. That's true. And and most of our lasers aren't very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And we have, because we're a medical office, we can use topical lidocaine. We can use different things for... Uh, decreasing pain and discomfort. Yes. So, so we use those because we can, mm-hmm. and those are things that you can't get at just a spa. Okay. So we, that's one of the upsides of coming to us. I've, I've had lasers myself mm-hmm. since I, uh, for over 20 years. Treatments you mean? Treatments. Okay. Um, not owning a laser, but we've had, we've owned a laser for about, mm, I think 10 years. Mm-hmm. And we've added to our laser and increased our uh, menu of services as we've gone. But I've had lasers at different off plastic surgeon's offices and um, always a doctor's office. Right. Uh, and that I've had them, I've had brown spots removed. I've had wrinkles removed since I was 40. And, and I've also used lasers that support the connective tissue, like stimulate connective tissue just to... to go up because mm-hmm. as we age, we're always drooping or coming or our, our, our skin is drooping down. Okay. So I'm skeptical. How, how does zapping me with a laser make my, my waddle under my chin tighten up? What, what happens? It's it. Um, well, there's one laser called the uh, Q switch. It's also called, no one has to really know the name of the laser. They just have to come in and say, I want my, I want my waddle to to yeah, come up. Okay? So for you, let's just look at you. So for you, I would use um, a an injection that dissolves some of the fat under here. Mm. And so first I do that. 
And that takes, um, it's called Kybella. It usually takes two treatments and that would actually, it, it actually dissolves the fat and then and pulls it up a little bit. And then after that, that's a two, like once every month, twice. And then after that, a month is up. Then I'd start laser, which is a Q-switch laser, which is like, I call it the staple gun. Because when I, when I provide the service, sometimes I do, I do these services for my friends. I've, I'm trained in it just like you should be, every doctor should be trained in the same things that their staff does as their extender. So I'm trained in all of them. So I use the, the Q-switch and I staple gun up under the chin and you just zip, 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 and it stimulates collagen and you actually see a difference at the time of treatment. But it, it gets, doesn't put a staple in. No, it's but it's a laser. It's just a laser, but I call it the staple gun because it acts like that. Okay. You know, if you've ever strep, stretched fabric around a chair and stapled it, that's kind of what Oddly we're enough, doing. I have. When yes. I worked at the state mental hospital, I worked in the <laughs> upholstery department. I wouldn't and share that with a lot of people. <laughs> I was younger then. <laughs> But we did that for our office when we when we moved into one of our offices. We we cover, recovered our own chairs, and it's kind of like that. You're you're stretching the skin back to where it should be attached, mm -hmm. and thickening the connective tissue to make it stay up. So we use a clear lift, and we would use the clear lift up here too because we'd want to elevate the sides of your face and and define so your jaw. This is all non-surgical. It's not no, it's not surgical, and and actually when you do. Uh, a Q-switch, you can't even tell you had, there's no downtime. You can't tell that you had it done except that you so look better. So I don't, I don't have to stay out of the sun? Mm -mm. You have to use sunscreen, but you don't have to stay out of the sun. Right. So, I mean, everyone should be using sunscreen by now. If they're not going to use sunscreen, they probably shouldn't have lasers. You know, you say that and you look at me like, everybody should know that. I grew up in Arkansas in the 50s. And when school was out in the summer, my parents threw away because they didn't want to do laundry. I mean, we, we still had to like hang our clothes out on a line to let them dry. <laughs> So they cut my blue jeans down to shorts, I'm 70. <laughs> and we went all summer without shoes or socks or shirts. I know. We just wore shorts. And so I know. Sun, Those were the days. Sun was my friend. <laughs> well, sun is. And now it's not. Sun is good for you. Yeah. But it has to be uh, the damaging rays that wrinkle you and damage your skin and cause cancer should be blocked. But the rest of the sunshine should should be able to get through. So sunscreens do that. They don't block everything. They just block the damaging rays. We have one of those washing machines with a hand cranked ringer that you had to like. It's always amazing to me. It's like a history story. Well, <laughs> you, learn, seven... you learn to not get parts of your body caught in the ringer. Well, obviously. So. It hurt. <laughs> Gosh. If it had an okay. emergency release, it would pop open. Now we're back to lasers. Okay. okay. Sorry. We're back to lasers. Lasers don't do that. No. Laser, lasers are actually a very clean, nice way to elevate your face and have no one know it because it isn't it isn't drastic. That's why I grew up here. Doesn't, it doesn't look like something's been done. People just go, oh, have you lost weight? Oh, you look so fresh today. Your skin looks so good. They don't really know what you did. So if you're trying to. Okay. So when you say people, you mean women. Women. Yeah, because yes. men don't say that to each other. No, I know that. Okay. I know. But men get this done. I, I, they, uh, I mean, they get clear, they get the, um, the clear lift done. They get, I mean, they get all this done. And men don't like brown spots on their face either because it makes them look old. Mm. I mean, men are more concerned about their looks than they were 20 years ago. I would so, agree that. Yes. And, and all brown spots, by the way, are precancerous waiting to happen. So when you use one of our lasers, I love to get rid of brown spots because the difference is huge. You use one of our lasers called an IPL, and the IPL tunes in on that color, on that area. It doesn't take the color out of your skin, but just hones in on the damaged area that is darker than the rest of your skin and kills it. It then... Your skin's always growing, exfoliating to the surface, and then it peels off. So the good news about that is you look drastically different in two weeks. So All that's gone. So but the bad news is... like every seven or eight days, right? Well, it just keeps growing, coming to the top. I mean... But but a brown spot that's in there that you want to take out, mm -hmm. that, that doesn't grow off in seven or eight days by no, itself. It, no. it stays. No, it stays, so but then, the rest of your skin is exfoliates. Right. And so then you burn that off with one of these lasers. It has to come I, to the surface. and, and So you have to do it in a sequence? Do it two, three times? You'll have to do it two or three times. And then every year, if you go out in the sun, usually you have to do it once as a follow-up every year. I mean, that's what I do. So there's a, 
a downtime between those treatments. Like if I, yeah. if I came in and got a, a brown spot zapped off my cheek, it wouldn't go away permanently today. You know, I would have to wait for a while, and then I have to have it zapped again. Maybe sometimes they can You usually see a certain number of them come up to the surface and they go away. Uh huh. Then the ones that have been there have had damage forever since you were a kid. They take longer and maybe take more treatments. I had three treatments to begin with, a month apart. The very first treatment I had. This is this is a whole different generation of lasers. The first treatment I had was drastic. I looked bad for five days. I mean, I looked like I had been burned yeah. or I, I fell right, into right the fire, weird. kind of like a marshmallow. Yeah. And so well, I couldn't go out and, I mean, I did it on a week of vacation. I knew that I would have at least five days downtime. So it was five days of not really going out in public unless I wanted people to ask me what disease I had, you know, but it comes up and it would peel off and we have ways of helping it peel off a little sooner. We use some, um, some facials that will help exfoliate a little faster so we okay. can get people back in action faster. But this brings the next point about lasers right. up is downtime. So, <laughs> so I'm having my esthetician, my esthetician who specializes in laser doing my laser and I'm lying there going, yeah, and I need this and I need this and I need this, but I've only got five days of downtime. So I said, mm, how much time do you have today? Oh, somebody canceled. I said, so I'd really like to get this done today and this done today. Well, I'm just lying there. I'm thinking of all the things that need to be done with a laser. So basically we spent two hours lasering everything that I needed to have lasered. The clear lift, we did the IPL, we got rid of the brown spots, we did wrinkles, we did uh, skin tightening on my belly. We just, you know, we... We just did everything we could do in two hours. And I thought, why don't we offer this this way for our patients? Because our patients are, most patients are really busy. They work, they've got kids, they've got, you know, they don't have time to come back and come back and come back for separate treatments. Like so, so one for your get... face, one for your hands, exactly. one, one appointment for your, for, for your belly. You know, you don't have time for those treatments separately, but you, you could come in and have a clear two hours to do something that would give you downtime, one downtime, not a series of downtimes, and you could get it all taken care of at once. So we started doing that. We basically said any laser, doesn't matter which one, whatever we need to fix, fix your problem, any laser by the hour is a certain amount. So people can come in it's not laser time, but it's coming in and lying down and getting your face washed and then lasering or whatever has to be washed. Mm -hmm. But basically, it's laser time. And you're getting a lot more for your buck that way mm -hmm. than scheduling a separate treatment for each area. That would be a lot more. So I would, in my treatment planning, make it an appointment for an hour's worth of laser time. Mm -hmm. Knowing that burning one or two sunspots off my forehead would take maybe seven or eight minutes mm -hmm. after the prep time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if I wanted to have my U.S. Marine Corps tattoo taken off mm -hmm. uh, or if I wanted to have my uh, bikini la hair lasered, mm -hmm. uh, then I could have all that done in mm -hmm. the same visit right? for Very one, efficient. one price. No. Right. For one price, which would be a lot less than... The price three for each visits. of those services yes. for three visits, which you'd find someplace else. Right. So I think it's efficient, and I think it's less money, and I think you get a better um, outcome. I mean, you're going to see a lot more change a lot faster than if you had to make all these different appointments. I mean, I just don't have time to do that, and I don't think most people do. So that's why we decided to do it this way. That's why it's working so well because people can come in and they can be lying there and going, oh, I've got this brown spot on my chest I need to have, you know, and we can do it. It's kind of like going through the automatic car wash. They have like six or seven different car washes <laughs> and each one has a different price and they do more things. Right. So you can package a mm -hmm. visit to maximize your outcome for yep. your investment. That's right. Exactly. And, and. We think that it helps our patients get things done because sometimes you lose, once you've been coming to an appointment and then you get this done and then you have to wait and then well, you get another intrudes. appointment and then something happens and you don't get it done in your, your series, the mm -hmm. initial series of lasers that you have to go through doesn't ever finish. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get everything taken care of. So that's why I think it's efficient and it makes sure that you get everything done you want, you're happier and the downtime is less. 
So you don't have three separate downtimes, you have one downtime, if there is any at all. So IPL, the brown spots, that has downtime, and a pixel. Pixel is a complete resurfacing, which does make you red, and it is a deep laser. It stimulates collagen, it helps with brown spots, but not, we usually do IPL with it, if you've got really deep brown spots, but it, it tightens your face, it resurfaces the skin, meaning it gives you new baby skin on top that's really soft and feels really good, and it tightens up everything, so it kind of does it all. So, but a pixel, you still have three to five days of downtime. Well, so you have, to, so I would do the, I, I do the IPL, the pixel together because I just want one downtime. So does that replace the jet peel that you use? The, the mm, jet peel is a whole different thing. That's not a laser. That's not a laser. That's, that's just, a water that's a, a, that's a, a water facial, a hydrofacial. Okay. And it exfoliates. We use, sometimes use that to get people out into the living again sooner. Or I use it after a, an IPL to get the dead skin off faster, but that's not a laser. So we we'll use it in conjunction with the laser. It's a, a little different deal. So you have all these services available. You can, you right. can get the hydro peel. You can get the sandblasting. I think the biggest problem is that people don't, people go in and they have all these laser names. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what they are. They don't know what they do. I mean, so I kind of have basically the problems right. that you, you can just tell, you should be able to tell your, uh, aesthetic, um, laser specialist, the problems that you have with your skin or the things that you see. We have a, um, a machine that you put your face in and it tells you, you know, the vessel problem, the brown spot problem, and it can show you the, your, um, progress as mm -hmm. you go through the lasers also. So we do pictures before and after kind of with this machine so that we can see how much better you are. So that's, so that's something that you do and you say, I want, I have this problem. You don't say, I want this laser. I've got brown right. spots. I've got wrinkles. I've got um, my hands and you should always do your hands if you're going to do your face, because if you walk in with no brown spots on your face, neck or chest and your hands have brown spots all over them, people know. Huh. They go, oh, well, she had her face done and so her, she's what really about old. Skin conditions, <laughs> you don't look like, as young. Uh, low levels of psoriasis or acne or things like that, that that teenagers suffer from. Are these things that are amenable to laser treatments? Yeah, we have um, we have a, a new pulse dye laser that is really good for acne, and we have another pulse dye laser that's good for it as well. So we have two different ways to treat acne. Okay. And uh, besides, usually we have a fa we have a facial first to get everything cleaned up, mm -hmm. and then then use the laser so that it, it it basically you've already been exfoliated, so it it can go into the skin. It can it can penetrate better and fix the acne. Acne is partially a bacterial problem. Bacteria that live on the skin and live right. in the, so you zap uh, those lands. With the laser. Yeah, and yeah. we use zap them with the Cause laser. Because normal washing and scrubbing your face doesn't get it. Doesn't, but most people who have most adults who who have acne do that. But most teenagers who have acne just don't take care of their skin like they should. They just forget. Well, and I've seen so a lot sometimes, of men my age who have these horrible scars on their face from right. childhood. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I see that much anymore. Uh, We've used some good medicines in the recent past so that people aren't as scarred. But you see, you see them maybe in, not in your population of of uh, people, yeah. yeah. But but when you have when you have the um, scars from acne, we do a really good job with not just lasers, but with fillers. We use filler to fill in all of those, and they literally so it's not so disappear. Yeah. So there's, we use fillers that last a long time and then you don't have to keep doing them, but there's also a way to stimulate your own collagen to fill them with a, um, a needle. There's like a, it looks like a, it looks like a pen with multiple needles and it, it literally injects collagen and, and basically stimulate your own collagen to grow too. So we have several ways to treat acne. That would be determined how you treat it. Would is be that determined. Micro needling. It is. It's okay. called micro needling. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. But, but not how we do it, but what the problem is would be help would be decided by you and my esthetician who would sit down and go, okay, how are we going to deal with this? Also, if you have a budget, you have to tell them, 
I want to spend this much a month or this much a year and I want to, you know, spread it out. And she'll figure out what is the most reasonable way to do this. <laughs> How beautiful can you make me for $1,000? Yeah, kind yeah, of. Kind exactly. of, but, but still, it's a reality. You have to, this is yeah. not insurance based. It's never has been. Right. This is something that you have to decide what you want to do when and this year or next year or the year after. So basically you do have to think about budgets and you have to think about time. And some people have lots of time and not a lot of money and some people, you know, vice right. versa. You just, well, you just have to some of these things share really are, this. Even though insurance doesn't cover them, they're really health based. I mean, getting rid of those sunspots. Yeah. That that's really before they can based. turn into cancer. Right. That, that's good preventive but it's, care. But they don't usually pay for preventive care. Right. So, no, no, so that's not paid for. And and then some of it is just cosmetic in terms of social values. But all of it comes back to the rubric of when you feel healthier and you look better, the whole package feels better. You have when, more vibrancy, more energy, more life. Uh for other people to experience. Yeah, people respond to you differently. Yes, they do. So when people come to my office for pellets mm -hmm. and I'm counseling them, usually at the very end they go, so I, w I want to look like you. What do I do? Yeah. Besides the pellets, besides exercising, besides trying to eat properly and moderating all bad habits, then this is what I do. <laughs> so it is, it is something that helps keep me look younger and younger looks healthier. And so that's really the goal. When we look at somebody who's young, they look glowing and they look healthy and they have, yeah. and they don't have wrinkles or damage. So if they are healthy. If you're, if they are healthy. Yes. So really, if we're looking at what we want, we just want to look younger because younger is healthy and healthy is beautiful. So I help people with their testosterone levels and their thyroid and the, all their other hormonal imbalances that happen as they age. But now... We also are combining this in a bigger way so that we can have them get the, get the feedback from how good they look Well, but because they feel good. That, that goes back to our most recent podcast, which was about integrative medicine mm -hmm. and, and the whole approach. I mean, exercise, weight loss, skin care, uh, replacing your hormones. I mean, all of these are a package. Mm -hmm. that come from different medical areas of attention or focus. And you're trying to pull them all together to help people get to a place where they look and feel their best mm -hmm. and can live an active and vibrant life for all their days. Which equals healthy. Yeah. And beauty. And beauty. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.